आखिरी चंद सेकंड ही तो हार और जीत का फैसला करते हैं क्योंकि जो पॉडकास्ट वही सिकंदर हाय अर्जिता वेलकम टू एज इट इज वेल और आखिरी तीन और चार सेकंड ही तो डिसाइड करते हैं कि आपको सीटीए पे एंड करना है <laughs> या किसी डायलॉग पे या सो यू बेटर स्टिक अराउंड टिल द लास्ट थ्री फोर सेकंड्स ऑफ दिस शो इफ यू वांट द रियली रियली गुड स्टफ बिकॉज़ दैट्स व्हेन आई गेट आई गेस इट विल गेट गुड बट दैट कोट वाज फ्रॉम 1992 जो जीता वही सिकंदर अ फिल्म दैट्स वेरी फॉन्ड फॉर माय जनरेशन एंड द जनरेशन स्लाइटली बिफोर मी योर जनरेशन मे बी मे बी नॉट वी फाइंड आउट अर्जिता We'll find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but to talk about Joji Tawhi Sikandar with us in the studio is someone who claims this is his favorite film. Uh, you must have read him. You must have seen him on YouTube. Uh, he's been in the business for a really long time. When I say yeah. business, I mean the business of film criticism or the 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 craft of film criticism. Uh, it's the one and only Mayank Shekhar. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you so much. I mean, I mean, kind of given, right? That I've been around for very long. Yes. If Jojita Vai Sikandar <laughs> is my favorite movie, yeah. right? In life, I've been around for very long. And of course, doing the same job for almost 20 years, yep. uh, if not more. Yeah. Uh, and in those 20 years that I've been a movie critic, I think I've watched JJWS once every year. At really? Least, for some reason or the other. Okay. I just created a reason if none existed. <laughs> uh, one existed in May, mm. uh, purely because it was 30 years. Yeah. And uh, right now I'm in the process of recording a podcast series on iconic villains. Okay. And Shekhar Malhotra is an iconic yeah. villain, isn't he? <laughs> Deepak Tijori. So I had to go all the way to. Well, actually, I had him over mm. uh, just to tell him that he should not have kicked out. Uh, uh ratan lal right you know it was never too late say yeah. in 30 years yes. later it's fine so so that was the last time and then of course uh, coming here mm-hmm. uh from when i woke up uh, to uh, when i was taking a shower so that was a sound mm-hmm. so and i can i can i know what's going on on the screen ah. so so it was a great recap uh and i realized that your podcast is about whether something is As relevant is well, yes. well. Yeah. i mean Come on! It's like it released last week. Yeah, it is absolutely relevant and can watch it again and again. Uh, mm. Hopefully, I don't do it again too soon. Yeah. Why do you like the movie so much? Like, what part of the movie do you think that this really speaks to me? Well, firstly, you know that's another thing uh, with favorite movies. Mm. Ask anybody, and they'll give you like Citizen Kane right. and stuff like that. Yeah, and it is. I can guarantee you, no human being's favorite movie is Citizen Kane. Nobody in the world loves Citizen Kane. Uh, they, Ujita gave an award for Citizen Kane a couple of weeks ago. She was like, "It's okay." <laughs> I mean, so no. Let's be fair. Uh, no knock on Citizen Kane. Its greatness cannot be uh, contested, right? Because it was great for its time when it came out. The technology that was used, double focus, the story being told, mm. blah 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 blah. Mm. Mm. But your favorite movie is something you watch when you're a child, yeah. Correct. Yeah. You yes. know, something you connected with at that age mm. because mm. movies are memories, mm. right? And it reminds me of all the great things in my life. Okay. Um, you know, I'm building a questionnaire right now. I'm going to call it the Shaker Questionnaire, mm. which is you know, a conversation starter questions. Okay. Okay. Like uh, when you were close to death, when you were you know, stuff like that. Uh, one of the questions I've come up with is your best phase in life mm. so far. Mm. Mm. And I think most of them are going to say when they were in their young, you know, teens or even before teens. Correct. When yeah. you know it's okay. I mean, as long as you're not flunking your exams, yeah. that's that's your biggest worry, right? Yeah. right. Yeah. And that's it. It reminds me of. everything that was going on screen uh was somehow the other going on in my life mm. okay. um that's why wonder years is my favorite tv show ever right mm. i'm sure mm. there've been greater shows since i'm sure there've been amazing movies since jj but that right. does not matter right. you're not asking me which is the best movie in the world right. yeah, you're asking which is my favorite, favorite movie film, yes. and it is it is this okay do you relate to amir khan or uh, no amir khan obviously right amir i mean who's gonna, <laughs> you know i have to say this so basically you have the villain the antagonist the shekhar malhotra yeah. who uh, is a uh, head boy mm. of the school who is great at sports who cracks it in in studies great dancer mm. he is a perfect guy isn't he correct exactly yeah. you know uh, yeah. he's just an asshole yeah he's exactly. just a 100% asshole uh, who is terrible with women right. uh, terrible with friends treats them very badly so shekhar malhotra that's uh, deepak tijori tells me mm. that the first time when they watched the show in delhi mm. the entire delhi crowd is so delhi they were all rooting for him Oh really? They love this guy. You know? <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> They love these jokes. So so yeah. So he's very Delhi boy in that right. sense. Yeah. Uh, in an aspirational sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but no, I I wasn't that kid in school. Mm. Mm. I was more this Ratan Lal in school. Mm. I also had an elder brother. Mm. I mean, I have an elder brother yeah. who's exactly like Mamik's character. Okay. You know who at that time was this guy who's figured out in life, whereas I'm a complete loser. And and he would you know use things I said and did. Uh, you 
you know against me right. you That's know typical brother yeah, 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 yeah. this thing called secret leaked out slo so if, if you want to screw me over I just say slo because he has too many secrets <laughs> of mine that he's going wow. to go tell my parents about right so he'll get whatever he, so he was a bully yeah. again like the elder brother in wonder years mm. so i think those aspects i don't think they've been touched upon in films since mm-hmm. this whole sibling love right mm. is fabulous mm. the fact of the elder sibling being almost like a parental figure mm. is very unique yeah. uh, and it's amazing or astounding that it's not been attempted in the same way right. since 30 years yeah, now yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and even if they try to do it it's always like one tone like either your elder sibling will be like a parent figure or he or she will be a bully but that's not true that's your not true siblings, there's a lot of love yeah, there there's and love, even in the there's bullying, also there's bullying a lot of love. yeah yeah and there is i mean again you know it's that uh, proverb right uh, uh, um me and my brother against my cousins me and my cousins against mm. the world yeah. so if there is an outside external yeah. influence yeah, yeah, yeah. me and my really brother against my yeah. parents <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. totally right so yeah. the moment shekhar malhotra's character comes into play mm. a mamek uh, mm. that's ratan mm. and sanjay mm. they are same team right. you know he'll do anything for him yeah, yeah, so yeah, there yeah. is a lot of love that comes through yeah, eventually in the film yeah, yeah, yeah. all right uh, at this point we'll take a short break uh, mayank please hold on to those thoughts i have a lot of questions uh, we'll be right back and uh, we'll get to see what uh, mayank has to say about the rest of the film and i also have some questions about him if you're watching this on youtube please subscribe to the channel press the like button and uh, share this video with someone who you think will enjoy it we'll be right back after this hi this is cyrus rogan brocha pr say rogues Oh, uh, I've come up with a brand new idea. It's a premium product called Club Cyrus Says. It's an offer open just for you. Let me tell you about the product. We've got exclusive Cock and Bull episodes just for you. That's right, just for you. That means others don't get to see it. Also, you get exclusive footage, extra bits, the uncut version of the interviews with celebrities. And these are huge celebrities, not small-time celebrities. Only the big guys come on the show. So you'll get the exclusive bits that nobody else gets. The extra tidbits, special stuff. uncensored stuff stuff you don't want to put out that's just for you and for our audio listeners you get special ad free content and early access to interviews and sessions and the podcast which nobody else will get you'll get it first you're the first people you're neil armstrong you're edmund hillary you're whoever discovered india you're that and by becoming an exclusive member of club cyrus says you get the power we transfer the power to you and you become the producers and you will decide what content or what happens on that show you are the masters and we are your we can't use words like that people who work for the masters basically so guys get in special audio features include uh i forget i can't remember what the <laughs> And we're back on Hazri as well with Urjita and Mayank in the studio. Uh, so Mayank, basically, you're saying you wanted to go to model school uh, <laughs> as as a kid. Uh, and also, I want to ask you. So clearly, you're very passionate about the film and you love it. Uh, how old were you when you first watched it? Yeah, I would be about twelve, thirteen uh, okay. at the time. Mo- yeah, movie theater. Uh yes of course all right movie theater and then subsequently uh, of course VHS we've right. been through like every technological revolution uh, <laughs> since the movie came out right. right this is also the beginning i think of the VHS generation yeah. and then thereafter DVD and right. of course i yeah. watched it right now on Z5 yeah. so yeah, yeah. yeah everywhere right so so i'm 35 and i for me this was a tv movie it was on tv most of the time yeah. and it was one of those where even if you catch it uh, in the middle, from the middle you yeah. ended up watching it till the rest of the way uh but uh i mean now that you're a film critic and you made the distinction between favorite film and best film uh was there a point in your life where you were like where, where your critical thinking took over your uh, favoritism and you started looking at the film from a critical lens and then you were like okay maybe it wasn't that great but there's something about it no basically you're saying did i turn to a fraud later in life <laughs> you know do i suddenly start having this critical thinking <laughs> like another i'm not thinking no no not at all i think no, but even... 12 is not an age where you're looking at a film yeah. uh, from you from overlook like a... so many flaws you yeah. overlook sexism yeah. you overlook so that's just... the that's the beauty right there are a lot of things i don't want to return to mm. i don't want to watch karamchand anymore right i i'm pretty sure they've not uh, survived the test of time right right uh, i don't know i've not touched uh, wayne's world that used to be my mm. favorite movie that i even have a poster of right. because i don't know and what if it's not and uh, i don't want to be disappointed mm, mm. but there is something about jojita vai sekandar and i guess because i could see i could see once i became an adult mm. that this uh, I discover new things every time, right. and it's not necessarily discover new things in terms of something prof- 
found mm-hmm. it could be something as simple as right now when i watched it mm-hmm. i realized okay so shekhar malhotra that's the uh, that's the you know the boy, yeah, yeah. the, the uh, sports per- yeah. captain's yeah. Uh, boss mm-hmm. in a sense mm-hmm. or the sports coach mm-hmm. is debu mukherjee mm-hmm. and debu mukherjee is ayan mukherjee's father okay mm-hmm. and that's something new that i learned right, right? right. Uh, of course when i met uh, uh deepak tejori the new thing i learned was that 75% of the film had been shot and it was canned oh, and really? it was shelved the entire film had been <laughs> shelved okay, okay. Uh, they were not going to go ahead with the release mm-hmm. because they had to replace the lead actors mm-hmm. they were unhappy with uh but well, there was an issue between milind soman and yeah, mansoor yeah. khan the director yeah. and amir khan mansoor uh, milind soman was going to play uh, yeah. uh, deepak brother. tejori's yeah. part yeah. 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 shekhar malhotra yeah. was him mm-hmm. they shot everything you know in kunnur and kodai canal mm-hmm. wherever else mm-hmm. that they did and these are very expensive shoots mm-hmm. because yeah. you know these are outdoors right um then you had uh, grija shetter who was playing the part that uh, aisha julka eventually played okay, okay? she could not return mm-hmm. uh, to the shoot because she had already shot the film right. and it's over she's moved right. on in life yeah, yeah. Uh, she moved left the country there is karishma pahuja mm-hmm. who was who was playing pooja bedi's part okay okay uh, who had to be replaced because they were completely very very unhappy with how you know this veronica was played yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. also archie no i mean archie exactly. was something yeah, we were yeah, reading yeah, yeah. Yes. at that same age yes. and yeah. was so close to yeah, us yeah, that's yeah. like pure american pop culture mm-hmm. that they've done a fabulous job of adapting mm-hmm. uh, on mm-hmm. screen so there's that element too so yeah so that's what i learned about how this film had been shelved mm-hmm. right uh, but that's that's the history part of it mm-hmm. i think just the watching of it mm-hmm. i'm watching you know ratan uh, you know ramlal's cafe right mm-hmm. yeah. ramlal cafe is where everyone meets at meets the center together, yes. yeah. of uh, yeah. this particular universe mm-hmm. a pop dates actually because yeah. uh, because the archies, uh, yeah, archies. Yeah. Yeah. now um, right next to that is a store called sarvodaya yeah. yeah now anybody who's grown up in bandra and all these guys have grown up in bandra yeah. sarvodaya is the dvd store Oh really? So they all clearly named a store next to Ramlal's <laughs> Cafe after the DVD store yeah. uh, or a VHS yeah. store at the time, uh, and that's when they were that's where they would have watched this movie called Breaking Away, which right. is where this movie is inspired from. from. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the fact that uh, Ramlal's Cafe doesn't have apostrophe after L <laughs> that really bothers me even now, <laughs> right? And it's not like they made a mistake yeah. because if you see the board where uh, the menu is, the there is an apostrophe there, ah, so it's not like they don't yeah. know. Oh. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You Where you've gone to the menu Maybe. card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. but these are—that's the beauty of this film, and that's yeah. why movies remain relevant. Mm. Is if you can discover something new, mm. like um, not this time, but once wh- when I was watching it, I just thought the fact that this uh, race is happening in 1990. Mm. If you see, there's a part where uh, the school principal is blasting Shekhar Malhotra. Yeah. Right behind him is the board mm. again mm. of uh, previous uh, uh, school captains mm. uh, or a sports captain. Whatever yeah, yeah, it says, yeah. honors mm. role. Mm. Mm. And eighty nine and ninety is Shekhar Malhotra written there. Ah, okay. So just you know that Attention that level detail. of detailing yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes it very exciting to watch uh, in retrospect, in yeah. hindsight, yeah. many years later But as well. But do you? I feel like the mistake was deliberate when it comes to that uh, inverted comma, of not course. not the apostrophe, yeah, yeah. because uh, I've I've seen like so many cafes along the highway. They have mistakes. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, some of them have like weird mistakes. Like it could be like you know they could easily say it as Pooja's Cafe, mm. but instead they will write P E O U something. Yeah, yeah. It's so, become an aesthetic. Yeah, nothing. yeah. So it's mm. like that catches your eye. Like mistakes catch your eye. Right. So I feel like it could be just like deliberate. Maybe. Why are you taking the side? <laughs> <laughs> they made a mistake. Why are you the spokesperson? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, this was Mansoor Khan's second directorial feature. Uh, first being kayamat se kayamat tak uh were you aware when you watched the film for the first time who's making this is it the same guy and and what is your relationship with his previous film kayamat se kayamat tak because so, that was amir's like breakout yeah um, i think uh, i mean i didn't think th- i mean of course it was a big one right yeah. kayamat se kayamat tak was a huge uh, film purely because it brought back music mm. and its melody back into the scene uh, amir was this new yeah. star so i mean i was too young uh, to be a fan of anyone in particular but i could mm. see the ones who were really older than me huh. uh, like i had you know like family friends and all were little older than they were crazy about amir yeah. khan at that yeah. time yeah. Yeah. and they were crazy about the music which is which is fabulous yeah. uh, but the movie was obviously uh, i mean it's romeo and juliet, juliet yeah. and it was um, 
too dark for me and okay. it wasn't something that i was drawn to but i was drawn to the to the soundtrack for mm. sure because mm. it was playing all around yeah, us yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at the time uh, would i know that mansoor khan is i think i was a film buff enough to know that okay that that's the director most mm. most people don't know these things but i think i would have okay. i became a trivia junkie also around mm. the same mm. time mm. so i would know priya uh, i would know uh, mansoor is a director i would even know maybe a little bit about him Hmm. you know the, even the, if the it's like the lineage that he comes from like, uh, yeah the lineage yeah. maybe not so much but certainly him in particular like yeah. you know went to caltech or was in mit and yeah. dropped out and like a hmm. uh, an engineer and all those things i mean i think i would i would have known a bit of that right. uh, but uh, i think i became a huge amir khan fan hmm. you know and that's that's our first relationship with the movies anyway yeah, yeah. Uh, you just fall in love with the character so much that you begin to love the actor right right and my uh, first uh, fan memory of of you know about this film is uh, you know uh, waiting up till late in the night to watch film fair awards right uh hoping that this film wins mm. at my grandmom's house we're not supposed to be up uh at that hour mm. i think film fair is to telecast rather late into yeah, the night yeah, yeah. and waited 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 and like a fist pump <laughs> when it won best film yeah you know you felt uh, like amir khan winning that race no so here's what happened <laughs> after huh. uh is that they announced best actor huh. and amir did not win for that right okay um anil kapoor won for beta that nobody yes. remembers <laughs> yeah. right amir uh, anil kapoor apparently rigged that award and amir has never entered a movie award since Oh, yeah. So it's pretty iconic uh, moment as mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm so glad I could watch it and remember it uh, because eventually, you know, these things you know became history. I mean, of course, I've spoken to Anil Kapoor about it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I've asked him point blank, mm-hmm. "Did you freaking rig the award?" Because it's so personal for me. Right? And how dare you? What, what did, did he you say? Make? He said no. Then I said, "Did you have a word with Amir about it?" Because he's yeah. never entered. Because that can't be denied. <laughs> he said, "No, it's not a big deal for us." I'm like, of course you rigged Come it. On. If you if, if he hadn't rigged. It, then he would have just said no no i mean his his logic is that these are popular awards it was the most popular film of the year yeah mm. uh, which kind of on paper probably even makes sense yeah, yeah, yeah. but no the best film was jjws yeah. Yeah. best actor had to be amir for god's sake what are you even trying to say so yeah. the only two films other than joji da wise kinder were nominated were beta and khuda gawa uh the best director also was won by mukul anand from khuda gawa and surprisingly uh Joji Dawai Sikandar didn't get a best music nomination to the music directors which is bizarre What about because choreography choreography so uh, this was famously Farah Khan's debut yes. as the choreographer yeah. but she only uh, choreographed pehla nasha yeah, yes yeah. because yeah because apparently Saroj ji was not available on set or something like yeah. that yeah that's the story apparently she disappeared uh, <laughs> yeah. on them yeah. Um, yeah. no she was sick she or couldn't whatever. make it because she was yeah, sick it's, yeah it's immaterial so, oh okay oh <laughs> wow <laughs> but yeah i think Farah Khan if i'm not mistaken was one of the uh, people involved with in the director uh, team he was assisting yes. Saroj Khan i think at that point is yeah. is what i've but saroj khan did win best uh, choreographer that year uh, guess for which with song it's a it's a is a dil dhak 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 karne laga can you imagine yeah <laughs> like, what are our aesthetics wow. but i have to say uh, since we are on that song yeah. uh, pehla nasha right yeah uh, the other thing i noticed many years later watching this film is the fact that you know that that move the mm-hmm. arm Falling. outstretched yeah, yeah, yeah. move yeah, yeah. that which, has become iconic which and we associate associated with another khan with yeah. another khan <laughs> yeah. uh, and given to that khan yeah. by by farah yeah. khan <laughs> right oh. it's actually the first time yeah. on amir khan yeah. Yeah. by farah khan <laughs> for this particular song yeah. that's actually a very good point yeah you know yeah, and yeah, and point. and yeah. look who made a whole career yeah, yeah, out of yeah, yeah. it i feel like the editor of pehla nasha should also get some credit <laughs> why <laughs> for intro- not introducing but like for popularizing slow motion <laughs> that particular kind song of, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very yeah. you know I, i love the trivia about slow motion mm-hmm. and shooting songs mm-hmm. on slow motion something that was not uh, common at the time yeah. uh, is the fact that you know you are slowing mm-hmm. the speed right of mm-hmm. how i'm viewing it Correct. which means doubling the speed yeah. of mm-hmm. how it's being captured yeah, on yeah, camera yeah. Mm-hmm. now what happens is if you're lip syncing mm-hmm. then your speed will not match the visual speed Correct. oh yeah right because you're singing normal yeah. Yeah. so how they did it was they sang really fast so when you sing really so it was a rap so it, for them. yeah <laughs> it was a rap yeah and and uh, amir says it was really funny 
to hear someone sing like that but that's how it it will look real yeah. when you have slowed down the speed Correct. of the visuals yes. i thought that was fabulous yeah, yeah, that's you know that's such a cool fact oh yeah we didn't think of this yeah, before and yet oh, maintain wow. that dreamy dream like quality yeah. that the song needs and even to the have. dance steps would have looked so different like for all you know this step was not supposed to be this it exactly was, it could have been this something yeah. like a gym step yeah it could have been some saroj khan move of Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dil dhak dhak. I think I think just for this we should just show like the slow motion version of dhak dhak karne laga <laughs> and see how it looks like. I'm also wondering if that version of uh, Jo Jita which was shot with Milind Soman and these other hmm. actors does it ever exist somewhere in it, some it, it film canister? It it was obviously there yeah, then. Yeah. yeah. Uh and uh, so basically uh Deepak Tijori had auditioned for this part. Right. Hmm. The Among elder the, brother part. No. no. Of uh, okay. Shekhar Malhotra's part. Okay. Uh, among other people who audition for this part is Akshay Kumar. <gasps> right. Yeah. Oh. Right. Uh, obviously he was not, not that big a deal, no. No, then. obviously not. He yeah. was a, he was in like any other struggler right. uh, at right. the time because we are talking about uh, late eighties now. Correct. Yes. Um, nineteen ninety is when they shot the cycling mm-hmm. uh, portion right. because they say nineteen ninety in the film. Yes. Mm-hmm. Movie came out later because they reshot the whole film. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it's a shelved yeah, movie yeah. Uh, redone. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, at ketna of the uh, mini theater which mm-hmm. is you know uh, off olive mm-hmm. in bandra mm-hmm. is where uh, mansoor took uh, deepak tajori to make him see the film that okay. they had already made okay. mm-hmm. and he was struck mm-hmm. he was struck by the beauty of the film mm-hmm. which i can totally imagine mm-hmm. because it was an even better looking film mm-hmm. uh, in its first uh, um, iteration uh, in, yeah. yeah purely because most of those shots were in real life locations which they didn't have the money to shoot all over again, again. Mm-hmm. so they had to recreate everything in film to a uh, film city right. in goregaon yeah, 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 yeah. like ramlal's cafe uh, yeah, ramlal's yeah, yeah. cafe was <laughs> <laughs> in uh, film city right uh, it was recreated um, on goregaon ki tekdi yeah, yeah. um so um, and he was struck by how amazing milin soman looked you know mm. like a greek god mm. which i can totally imagine yeah, yeah, uh, and he was a cyclist or a or a sports person anyway yeah. mm. um the issue i think uh, like the basic issue in terms of creative issue uh, was the fact that uh, milin's voice was no good and they were going to dub it and mm. but then they had other uh, mm. issues as well so Why so yeah so i think the dubbing thing uh, could not have worked out because it could have, have... i'm pretty sure there's something more uh, because there isn't much out and mm. that's a good question to ask milin soman at some point yeah. has he spoken about this a lot i could, I, don't think so. i don't think so okay. i i mean uh, There must be a reason why yeah, they have exactly. not spoken about yeah. in 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Amir hasn't. Right. So uh, because it's not possible that dubbing didn't work out. Because how many are fe- you know female actors? Because we're talking ke... about the late 80s. The technology might have been. No, no, time. dubbing would have no. worked out. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying that's the reason why they kept him regardless. Okay, right. Okay, okay, right. fine. So his voice is no good, but we're going to go ahead. Lenge. We're going to go ahead anyway because if yeah. you just mute the sound, mm-hmm. that's what Mansoor told Amir. Mm-hmm. If you just mute the sound and why didn't you say the lines? Amir said the lines mm-hmm. and said, "Look, it's just amazing." Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so they went ahead, but of course, eventually they didn't uh, use him yeah, in the yeah. final film. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I mean, come on, I'm, they've spent all that money. Yeah. They would have kept it somewhere. It would be lovely to watch and that like, version of I the mean, film. There right? are so many. Been, yeah. There are so many ways to hide bad acting, right? Like I've noticed this. If if an if midway through the uh, through the movie, they uh, the director realizes that this actor is no good, they would use dubbing. Then. Uh, OTS, OTS, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. OTS shots. इसके शक्ल ही नहीं दिखा रहे पूरी मूवी में. Yeah. So uh, I feel yeah, they could have easily. But I'm pretty sure there must be some. Other I'm sure there's another story that we, none of us have. Yeah. Uh, do you think the uh, the the crux of why this film works is because uh, it's not a one single thing. It's a coming of age film. It's also a romance. It's also a sports film. And all of those things culminate uh, together at the end, uh, which which is something for. Hindi film viewers is very common. Like we don't fit, we don't fit one genre in one genre. Yeah. We, we so I think I think here it might be interesting to sort of uh, locate this film vis a vis Breaking Away. Right. Okay, that Peter Yates right. film, uh, which is set in this town called Bloomington. Okay. Uh, which is where Indiana University is. All right. Now uh, in that town, there were everyone who lived there mm-hmm. became a cutter. a stone cutter to build that university okay right uh, and those cut then they were called cutters as a as a pejorative mm-hmm. uh, these are people who built that university but don't have the money to actually study there okay uh, they study right. in a lesser college right uh, it's it's a true thing hmm. uh, so they've taken that idea hmm. right hmm. um so pajama chap is the cutters right. in jjws uh, but so. what they've added to that very bland film mm-hmm. is one music I think the movie survives because of music. Okay. Mm. You know, uh, I mean, just the pure freaking balls to do 
I mean, of course, in in nineties it wasn't such a big deal. But right now, I don't know how many of them would be able to pull off a freaking medley. Yeah, एक गाने के बाद दूसरा गाने के बाद तीसरा गाने चौथा गाना चले जा रहे हैं यार. And we're loving it. Yeah. We're loving yeah. each uh, every element of it, and that's very Nasir Hussain right. for you because yeah. Nasir Hussain yeah. did the same thing and and survives the test of time, which yeah. is हम किसी से कम नहीं. किसी से कम नहीं. Right. And that's the film yeah, that yeah. he directed. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. a film yeah. where he, which he's produced mm. and he's also written the dialogues of. Mm. The other thing I noticed that this this I noticed this time. Is how uh, the dialogues are not very Western, mm. right? So there's a very there's a very Desi touch to it. Yeah, I did have an issue with the way they spoke English in this film, though. It's ha. very uh, sort of uh, robotic, for lack of a better word. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. But I don't know. Maybe at that time, single screens, it it had to be a film that does not Correct. alienate yeah. anyone, right? Yeah. Yeah. When I see, for instance, at least we've seen the poster yet uh, so far of uh, Archie that mm. Zoya Akhtar is making. Yeah. I can totally tell it will alienate like <laughs> most of India. <laughs> And, and I think and, that's the uh, and that's point. the purpose, that's right? The purpose, yeah, yeah. you couldn't do that yeah. in 1992 when ev- the only place to play it are theaters that are 1500, 2000 mm. seaters, mm. and if they're like, who are these people? You never feel that. Mm. So you have the the garib and you have the rich. Yeah. The rich also seem like very accessible mm. in that mm-hmm. sense, right? Papa yeah. and all those guys, mm. uh, yeah. and whoever these people are, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, So yeah, so to answer your question, I think if I would look for one reason uh-huh. uh, of its relevance, it would number one would be music. Okay, and I think that is why movies in India have survived for for all these years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take a movie without its music, it's no fun, man. Mm. Uh, this is also famously uh, like cameo central before people actually made it. Jatin Lalita in the film, uh, the actor who played Kachra in Lagan is playing one of uh, Amir's friend in the film. Maksud, yeah. yeah, that's uh, Aditya Lakhia. Yeah. Yeah. Who gets yeah. treated as Kachra <laughs> by yeah. Amir? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Ghansu also, right? Yes, uh, Devin uh, Bhojani. Bhojani, yeah, yes. uh, also Ghanjian. a wonderful actor. All three are basically flunked that year, and now they are uh, Anjali's classmates. Correct. Yes, uh, that's uh, Aisha Jhulka, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's Faisal Khan in the film. Uh, uh, Amir's uh, Brother, yeah. yeah, and Imran Khan makes a. Uh, he's playing the child. Uh, child Amir, Amir, yeah, Amir Khan, and there's Amol Gupte in the film. Amol Gupte, yeah. who is the announcer yes. uh, yeah. when the uh, cycling race happens. Right, for that is a meeple later on. Um, so there was this sort of literally like a like a class getting graduated where mm. these all these people were together on screen, and then later on in the in the next decade would go on to make. Great films, yeah. I mean, um, I don't think it is a breakout film in that sense. Okay. In the way that, say, a G- Gangs of Wasserpur is right. Okay. So you can watch everyone in Gangs <laughs> of Wasserpur. Like, oh wow! So this guy Jadhi Balawat. Oh, yeah. this is Rajkumar Rao. This is, right. Uh, yeah. Or for that matter, I think Bandit Queen was mm-hmm. in 1994, mm-hmm. uh, where you could look at all these people: Manoj Vajpayee doing some random role at the back, mm-hmm. and and the others, uh, Saurabh Shukla, first role, blah blah blah. Right. Uh, I think this is what made Amir Khan the dude. Right. Mm. You know, in a way that uh, we found him to be a superstar who can do something very hardcore, mainstream, mm. commercial, and yet mm. so believable mm. and so urban. Mm. Uh, it's a very urban exactly, film, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. Uh, in a way that uh, doesn't seem odd. Yeah, uh, mm. it doesn't seem like they're trying. To be someone, mm. it's not a wannabe film. Yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, Although Amir is trying to be a wannabe. For the you know, I mean, he's trying to be rich. He's trying to act. Pretending to be rich. Ha! Oh, like that. Rich. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. don't don't upset a thirteen-year-old who has just become Amir Khan fan right now in 2023. Um, you know, I'm not taking any criticism uh, on any anyone in this film actually. But yeah, I mean, uh, just that. I mean, I love that role. I mean, that, I love that part when he when he's in a car and then yeah, you know yeah. then he buys a cigarette uh, yeah. from Gansu. Mm. You know, and it's it's done so well. And you know another thing that I loved about this film is um, that no one is a bad person if you think yeah. about mm-hmm. it. I was about to come to that yeah. because you uh, said you spoke to Deepak Tejori about this uh, iconic villainous character. Mm-hmm. Even even the villain character in this, when it comes to uh, after beating up the brother when he's uh, hanging by a cliff. Uh, He still goes to save him because yeah. because there is that humanity inside him. After all, and for me, kids. that 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 moment makes the film. Right. But also at the same time, so I had read this somewhere uh, in Deepak Tejori's interview only that uh, uh, actually his character was not supposed to save him. Yeah. It was actually written. As, in fact, उन्होंने पहला idea यही था कि इसको जानबूझ के मारने के intention से धक्का देगा. Yeah. But then Deepak Tejori said, "यार तुम कितना है murderer बना रहे हो." Yeah. Right. Just that moment, moment when he says, down. "Oh shit!" Right. Yeah. That's when you realize that these are not uh, murderers. Yeah. Exactly. They are just yeah. uh, brats. Cool kids. But yeah. just because Re- Reggie Mantle from Archie Andrews yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah. Archie comics. But also just because like he's not a murderer, that does not necessarily make him like a makes good him person. believable. No, makes him it's believable. believable. Mm. Yeah. So uh, like even if you if you notice even uh, Pooja Bedi. His character, right? Yeah. Uh, 
you know she she is not a jerk right you know she she can hate someone who lied about who the hell he is yeah. you know she yeah. need not be a gold digger yeah. right? because she does tell him that you know what even if you had nothing i'd still love you right. and and he believes it but the fact is he's a liar mm. so you know so if you were to look at each character yeah, from yeah. their pov yeah. mm-hmm. you would like them yeah. and you can yes. watch this so which is which is great writing yeah it's, right. mm. it's fabulous yeah. writing yeah. so uh, a year ago about when we were planning this show we recorded a pilot for this with uh, jojita uh, vaiskandar and there was a very interesting thing with where ujita and one of our other colleagues were like actually speaking technically marmik's character should be the hero of this film mm. because he's the one who's righteous who does the right thing yeah. who uh treats other characters with respect and also in today's world i feel like marmik's character comes very close to being like a feminist ally <laughs> cuz i'll tell you why yeah. ek to he's non violent okay he doesn't support violence at all uh point number 2 he calls out uh, amir khan's uh, uh, bullshit alpha male uh, uh, attitude okay and third point ladki ke liye double roti banata hai ha aur aur phir gym bhi jata hai aur gym bhi jata hai khana bhi banata hai gym bhi jata hai yeah and he's just so risk- like when you compare his approach with amir's he his approach is so No, but I mean to be fair, um, unlike Marmik's character, mm-hmm. there's no coming of age in his character. Right, right? he is exactly the same guy in the beginning. It's the same fellow right at the end. Right. Yeah. Whereas Amir's character goes through a full freaking journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he becomes a better guy by yeah. the end of it. That is why it's a coming of age yeah. film. Yeah. But I have to agree with you on this. It did nothing for Mamik's career, yeah. Which I'm surprised. Yeah, literally for, uh, nothing. I recently, um, you know, I watch all kinds of shit. So please don't <laughs> judge me. But I saw him in a semi-porn film. Okay. You know and that's Mamik and I felt so bad. Right. Some oh. Ullu is an app Ullu that I, app, yeah. I yeah and and yes. he's in in a video there I'm right. like oh not Mamik bro. Yeah. And I bump into him once in a while at uh, WTF this bar in Andheri yeah, West yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. in Varsova he's there yeah. sometimes but yeah i mean it might be interesting to find out why. Yeah. He also did this show a children's show called Hatim. and we used to watch that oh, so which is why yeah so which is why when i was jojita vai sekandar my first oh, hatim <laughs> so i know as I'm, i know him as hatim correct and not as mamik from jojita vai sekandar i did not was, hear that i did wow. not hear that sorry oh my that's God. what i go through yeah. every week uh, yeah. my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> in fact when you were talking about the dvd store i was half uh, about to turn to the next so the dvd you <laughs> should be these physical things <laughs> uh so no but again yeah. like i mean um, that is so true um, for anything right i mean i i wasn't in the world when shole shole happened yeah, yeah. but you've just been living with yeah. shole all these years and it never yeah. occurs to us and of course eventually i did watch it on big screen because they used to re-release yeah, mm-hmm. shole once in a while yeah, and years. likewise i mean it's mm-hmm. perfectly okay if you're not in the world mm-hmm. when the movie came out you can yeah. there is literally you know like no excuse for ignorance my friend <laughs> <laughs> if you're not seen as a problem with you not when you were born but yeah. i w- i wanted to ask and touch upon this um so like i said in my for my generation joji tawis kandar was on tv mm. most of the time right as we're going as streaming is becoming the more dominant uh, place where people are discovering films mm-hmm. my thing is always will today's uh, the, the whatever gen z generation mm-hmm. why would they pick jojita vai sekandar when there's a like a stranger things or a jubilee right next to it which looks more flashy I, which looks more pristine i think aaj so, ki generation yes yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. i think aaj ki generation ka tv is instagram reels सो so, जैसे टीवी हम देखते देखते काफी मूवीज डिस्कवर करते थे आज की जनरेशन इंक्लूडिंग मी आई 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 एम स्पीकिंग फॉर माय सेल्फ आल्सो व्हेन आई से दिस या टुडे इज किड्स वाच हेरा फेरी बिकॉज़ दे हैव सीन इट ऑन मीम दे आर लाइक व्हाट इज दिस मीम मूवी दैट आई वांट टू वॉच या बट सो देन इज देयर अ फियर दैट द कमिंग जनरेशन इज कंप्लीटली लूज आउट नो बट दैट्स दैट्स वेयर इट मैटर्स व्हाट यू डू इट एंड इट मैटर्स व्हाट कन्वर्सेशन वी हैविंग राइट नाउ एंड व्हाट आर वी ट्राइंग टू डू वी आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प समवन डिस्कवर what i think is my favorite film and right. you guys have loved it as well right, right? and yeah. it could be anywhere we mm. could just discover it anywhere mm. i just came across something in the morning when i woke up this this lovely clip of uh, shujaat khan mm. okay um and shujaat khan is singing this this song and then he says mentions the name of the the writer and then i go and check out this man called Kiran. noor yeah, and so yeah, it's yeah. just that's the hell yeah. hole that we are all part of right? right if we can use it better we'll discover great things yeah. so you can watch something then go from there to watch something else and eventually reach something which is this film right. and i can guarantee you as someone who loves movies and just literally has made that my living mm. um i can't imagine anyone hating this film there is nothing in it which you which does not stand the test of relevance 
Mm-hmm. It's there is you know you could hate the way like from a feminist point of view for instance mm-hmm. you could hate the way Shekhar Malhotra is but he's he's a jerk na right and Ramlal uh, not Ramlal uh, Sanjay Lal mm-hmm. Sanju that's uh, Amir, hmm. uh, he's also a jerk. Yeah. But then you see him becoming a better person. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. in that, from a feminist point of view, I think it stands um, also uh, the basic test. Don't you think? We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, no, let's talk do. about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so like, I get that uh, there is the, there's this obvious arc, but also like uh, even towards the end, I, I I also had the same thing in mind that. वो ऐसा कुछ बोलता है क्या या आपको कुछ करता है क्या जिससे हमको समझ में आ रहा है ओके नाउ ही इज नॉट अ जर्क टू वुमेन एनी मोर सो टुवर्ड्स द एंड आल्सो वी कैन सी दैट आयशा झुलका इज हेल्पिंग हिम आउट एंड नाउ ही हैज फाइनली रियलाइज्ड हिज लव फॉर हर बट आल्सो लाइक वी डोंट नो कि नाउ हैज ही बिकम लाइक सो मेन इवन द मोस्ट सेक्सिस्ट मैन दैट यू विल फाइंड ऑन दिस प्लानेट विल बी नाइस टू देयर पार्टनर but it's it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be nice yeah, to yeah i'm not too general. sure about that relationship by the way and i think if yeah. you friend zone someone you don't go back i mean what is this yeah. that doesn't need to be a and, coming of age yeah right. and in fact uh, and what's wrong with being a friend yeah. why do they need to yeah But be in your fact thing? Uh, yeah. in fact like uh, mujhe wo wala point kafi interesting laga that aap kit koi bhi 80s ya 90s ki movie utha ke dekh lo usme agar if there is a guy who likes a girl but she doesn't like him back eventually he wears her down and she goes back yeah. to him isme लड़की की जीत हुई है <laughs> वो मुझे बड़ा सही लगा कि यू नो यू फाइनली सी लाइक अ नाइस गर्ल विनिंग इन लाइफ या नो फेयर नफ आई डिड नॉट सी इट दैट वे सी देयर यू गो um but yeah i i did i don't i mean unlike that generation hmm. or unlike that decade in in hindi films hmm. i don't see any obvious misogyny in it so sure. um, there's this one line where amir refers to someone as a chakka which i thought would not be done today hmm. yeah uh, but but yeah that that was one thing like kind of stuck but out but i'm pretty sure uh, you know jerk kids still talk like that so you hmm. only yeah, reflecting yeah, yeah. it right, yeah. right, right. amir can get away with a lot because he becomes a good guy in the end right yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay we'll take a short break when we come back uh, we'll talk about uh, i have a few more points to bring up and uh, we'll talk about an on stage encounter mayan had with uh, a very famous <laughs> khan and how that went down we'll see you on the other side of this break Hello it's been another great week on the IVM podcast network On Cyrus says Cyrus welcomes Seema Taparia popular marriage consultant and TV personality They spoke about her career and her claim to fame project Indian matchmaking on the OTT giant Netflix On the Habit Coach podcast Ashton talks to Kristen Butler CEO of Power of Positivity They talk about what made her embrace positivity in her life and how it became her mission to spread the same And on page 10 Abbas that's me Jalasmi and Karan discuss Atik Ahmed's assassination caught live on camera in Prayagraj former governor Satyapal Malik's explosive revelations and more catch all the episodes on the All About Now feed and YouTube channel and once again don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcasts.com we have some really great stuff for you over there follow us on social media we are ivm podcasts on Twitter Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you like our shows, spread the word, tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. You'll also find our shows on YouTube at youtube.com/ivmpodcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week, Cash Free Payments and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. And we're back on Hazard Age Well with Urjita and Mayank in the studio. Um As a, uh, another trivia, uh, Urjita, mm-hmm. is the year Jojita Wahi Sikandar won Best Picture at Film Fair. Yeah. Uh, you know who won the Best Debut? Shah Rukh Khan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of Shah Rukh Khan, Mayank, uh, <laughs> this has nothing to do with <laughs> this film, but it's a very, it's a memory that's been etched in my mind. Uh, there was an award function where. Uh, uh i'm uh, uh, shahrukh khan was on stage with you mm. and he pretty much bullied you <laughs> because <laughs> the way i remember is he put his arm around you and was basically taking all his khunnas out of film critics on to you saying are tum to bade stars dete ho ab kya bol rahe ho and you were terrified in that moment <laughs> so okay, okay. so there that is obviously works. a very long uh, story behind this sure. uh, which can be a full episode on yeah. its own <laughs> so let's not go into the complete long mm. uh, version of story but to cut, okay. cut it short basically we're referring to the apsara awards mm. which is the film producers guild mm. Uh, mm. awards and uh, i was giving an award mm. giving out an award uh, to sharukh for whatever you know the yeah, uh, yeah. fake awards <laughs> yeah, yeah. millennium ka star like or yeah, yeah. like that kind of that yeah. kind of thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
which is why they show up for yeah, yeah. Uh, these um, mm. uh, events anyway mm. uh, i don't know if that's the case anymore but i'm just saying at least it, it used to be back then very much is i mean if you see no i don't know but i think people should just ask for money i mean yeah. what is what award there yeah, was it, this one award called uh, kriti kriti sanon won this award called nothing to hide award <laughs> 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 anyway back to the story yeah, yeah. so so there is uh, there is me and dia mirza we are giving uh, out the award sharuk is supposed to receive it uh, sharuk comes he picks the award from me from my hand looks at the audience uh, or no looks at me says uh, you know thanks my uncle uh, despite huh. you not liking my movies so which i thought was legit that's right. him being funny yeah. Yeah. he's always uh, funny um to itna to banta hai main jo bhi likh lun likh dunga wo kuch bol hi nahi sakta ye so i i got that right so i i just smiled and i took uh, i and i took a uh as i took a step um, you know yeah, back called yes. you back from what i remember yeah 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 yes. so I, i took a step back huh? uh, because he is now like thanking the world yeah, and whatever yeah, else yeah, yeah. um and he's going on talking i can't hear him mm-hmm. because the voice is being projected to the Correct. crowd, crowd. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. right so there is literally no sound mm-hmm. at the back and he's going on saying something or the other and then he says you know he, huh, he points in my he points in huh. my direction to come huh. and i was 100% sure that mm-hmm. he's already taken my trip right. he's probably saying something about dia mirza yeah, so yeah. i'm asking dia to go as <laughs> No, no, he's calling you. I'm like, no, dude, that is not okay. Uh, so now I'm right next to him, mm-hmm. and he says, "Ab aaya put uh, ut uh, pahar ke niche, oh. right?" Mm-hmm. Then he says, uh, "Abhi mere tu dialogue bolke bat bata." Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, ek to mic iske paas hai, uh-huh. puri crowd iski hai. Uh-huh. Main kya bolunga isko hai? What oh, am I going to say to him? So then he says some line. Yeah, he yeah, says, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, "Main jungle mein ja raha tha." I can't remember mm-hmm. what the line was. Yeah. So I'm like, then he gives me the mic. I'm like, dude, I said, I'm in the jungle. I'm going. Then he said, then he gives me the mic. I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, now I have to go home. So I'm like, <laughs> See, Amir would not do that. Yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. Amir won't be won't be in the award show, so it's okay. <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah, unless it's the Oscars, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a no go. Uh, have you <laughs> met Amir and spoken about this film? Uh, not in detail, but I'm sure over years that I've interviewed him, mm-hmm. uh, the movie has come up. Mm-hmm. Um, I do remember telling him something that was uncharitable, and that's because once you love a director mm-hmm. and an actor combination, I couldn't believe that they did the same director and the same. Lead actor did akele hum akele tum, right. mm-hmm. which was like the worst piece of plagiarism ever. You've gone and stolen scene after scene of Kramer, Kramer versus Kramer. Kramer. The bloody song, so the, his last the, Christmas. No, and the na 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 Raja ko Rani se pyare is Godfather, Godfather theme. <laughs> yeah. You don't go and steal Godfather theme, yar. You know, so I I do remember because I need to get that out of my chest. Right. Mm-hmm. I I did that get that off my chest mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. I did interview him once. Mm-hmm. uh because you're coming from that level of right. uh fan worship mm. but um uh in detail i don't think we've had a very long conversation jo jita waisa okay. but okay. i think it's it yeah. it it makes sense to have one yeah. but akele 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 hum akele tum was also meta in some way because ek to the movie is plagiarized but usme bhi dikha raha hai ki amir khan ki jo song hai wo usko kisi aur ko bechni padi hai and that person is taking credit for money so i found that very funny ki acha tumko pata hai tum kya kar rahe ho you just didn't want to like buy the rights of the movie so you just that was that was and there was funny. i mean the music directors in that were blatantly nadeem yeah yeah, yeah. I, I thought this was Anu Anu Malik, na? Wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know. No, so I mean, uh, uh, Shafi Namdar, I think, plays the music director, and he has a. Oh, in beard. the film. Oh, yeah, yeah, film. Got yeah, you, got yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course, for the movie, it was Anu Malik yeah. who famously uh, yeah, stole Godfather theme. <laughs> yes. oh, God But sake. also, like, I have a. How was it? Why did you break my heart? Also from Akele Amakele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you break? Yeah. Yeah. Which, which was. Why did uh, what, you go away? Away. 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 Dil mera. Ye Kailas whisper hi hai na? Nee, Kailas whisper was with song. Last Christmas है ये, last Christmas है, last Christmas, na 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 na, yeah. But also like okay. in a way, I feel like people who uh, you know outright if they ask uh, for your work and say you know कि मैं ये खरीद लूँगी, I feel like in some way that is also positive because they believe in your talent. Yeah. So. No. You're defending. अकेले हम अकेले तुम्हारे दोनों के बीच के अंदर एपिसोड. Seriously, like. Uh, 
Can hmm. I just say, but 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 the back then, I'm sure not most of India would have seen Kramer versus Kramer. So if you that's not the point, right? <laughs> that's not the point, and and I'm okay with uh, with uh, remakes. Right. But what is your adaptation? Is hmm. genuinely like you know the the best shots of that film of the door right. opening, the girl, you know, the little child going into yeah, the. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't steal shots right. like that, which hmm. is not the case with Joji hmm. Dawai Sekandar. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, technically, you know. Uh, Kayama se Kayama tak is also Romeo and, uh, Romeo and Juliet, Juliet yeah, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, what he did with uh, Shah Rukh, mm. uh, Mansoor Khan, uh, mm. Josh is also West Side Story. West Side Story so yeah, yeah, adaptation yeah. is not the issue. Mm. Yeah. Plagiarism is. I think there's yeah. that's that's a different thing. It's mm. a different ball game altogether. Yeah. I wanted to go a little cha- tangent about Mansoor Khan. So he makes Josh and then he doesn't make a film, right? Yeah, he hasn't made a film yeah. and then moved to Kunu and I think he lives there. Yeah. Uh, uh, he produced Jane to Yeah Jane na, but I think that's his last credit uh, mm. on 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 IMDb and Wikipedia. He was on the set, so which right. is because the director was a first timer. Mm. They were also launching a son in the family. Correct. Uh, yeah. That's Nuzat's son, yeah, yeah. Um, Imran Khan. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the last time that he's been on. Uh, I mean, in a credited way, right. been on a movie. And Jane to Yeah Jane also, I think, is a very good uh, coming of age film. I mean, we, we we've done an episode about that. Did, yeah. Did you not like that film? No, no, I like the film. Okay. I like the film. I yeah. I think uh, again, uh, I have a feeling that might survive the test of time. Right. Uh, yeah. Given the genre, right? right? It has. It has more or less. It has. Yeah. Jane to Yeah Jane na. You know how old I am. This feels like a recent <laughs> film to me, so I don't know whether it will survive. Okay. It has. We don't know yet. <laughs> um, I mean, it's really astounding because we did an episode of "Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara," and that film is like twelve years old now. So yeah. it's, uh, it's yeah. pretty shocking. No, but I have to say, like, yeah. I think every decade we try, we 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 discover something, or we are hit by something that becomes our favorite. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't always stop. At a certain age, it stops right. for a particular film at a certain age, yeah. and I think uh, I've had a favorite film almost every decade, and like the following decade, or not really following, but towards the end, yeah, would be yeah. Satya. I mean, I can right. watch yeah. Satya mm-hmm. again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. I would say the same thing was in the Milligan Dubar. I can watch it again and again. Mm-hmm. Like if it's playing from any point, I can just watch it from any point to any point and just love it for what mm-hmm. it is, and then mm-hmm. move on. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, and that's very rare. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's it, but it doesn't stop at. I I never meant that your favorite just stops at when course, you were twelve yeah, yeah. years old. Yeah. Is there yeah. a film which you loved intensely but you watched again and just didn't work for you? Oh, so many of them. Okay. So many of them to a point where I don't I don't like watching something I've loved when I was a child. Right. Uh, and that's also because our exposure levels are zero, yeah. Mm. And especially with television and doordarshan all stuff that you see like eeks, like mm. like how yeah, like yeah, how yeah. did you love this? Yeah. What did you see in it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we used to love everything because wow. what choice you have i've yeah. loved mela also yeah <laughs> you know ki theek hai na yaar picture to hai you know we are just too happy to get to watch a movie right so that's good enough right yeah, 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 uh yeah. but yeah so i don't know whether say for instance i would love hum as much mm. it used to be my favorite film mm. uh, at the time i think 93 is hum right yeah. um i don't know okay. but, but uh, uh yeah sorry Uh, but talking about the movie yeah. Joji yeah. Dawai yeah, Sekandar yeah. coming uh, back coming yeah. back yeah 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 i feel like we spoke a lot about other things yeah, because i want to talk about a yeah. lot of things because we don't get a like a, like yeah, a proper yeah, yeah. film critic on our show oh, every yeah, day yeah. but sure okay. go ahead you yeah, get yeah. the fake yeah. ones usually yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think about uh, Aisha Julka's character and uh, uh, like one thing that i really liked so i'll tell you what i thought about yeah. the character so in bollywood movies if they like uh during the 90s and 80s if they had to show that a woman is behind a guy so they will always show that a creepy ladki hai piche piche ja rahi hai like you know like a like like some a version of deepa from dil chahta hai she'd be the vamp she would be the vamp yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, but is movie mein ye starting se uske piche hai and also like usko creepy nahi dikha hai well the childhood body is right? the best yeah. buddies and it's a gang of four yeah. and yeah. she just happens to be a girl mm-hmm. and at some point she'd become old enough to mm-hmm. then develop feelings and presuming mm-hmm. they could have just been like friends at because you know she's like at her at his place uh, all the time yeah, and yeah, so yeah. is he it just yeah. he just yeah. lands up but yeah. they, they yes. don't even knock doors he's yeah. just he's just there yeah. right yeah. Uh, there's that one scene where amir is leaving and he's like tumhe kharche ke liye kitne paise chahiye he says 40 rupees and i was like ah 1990 <laughs> anyway ha wo 1000 rupees bhi kharch kar diya na usne that's i mean that's the turning point in the film isn't it um but yeah i i with aisha julka's character i i like the fact that um, 
she loves him so much hmm. isn't is it's a yeah. very pure there's something, love there's something very pure yeah. Yeah. about it and at the same time i think she also gets treated as a girl it's not exactly yeah. she, you know i mean she's the betty like you said the betty and veronica absolutely the betty yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. like for instance if you remember when he brings pooja bedi over to ramlal's mm-hmm. cafe mm-hmm. right and they are uh, and then this guy the, the friends come mm-hmm. all three of them yeah, come yeah. Mm-hmm. and there's a jal maybe order karta hu so mamik uh, mamik that is uh, ratan yeah. kicks out the other two boys yeah. but lets her be Yeah, yeah, you know there yeah. is that mm-hmm. element he, of he okay, that. yeah yeah so what about it like what what do you what did you think of it so i really like like i already mentioned i really like the character because like even though i can't understand why she likes amir <laughs> but yeah, also yeah that was your main thing even back because yeah, he's archie yeah, yeah. right yeah. yeah 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 but like i also he's understand he's a dude in his own way actually he's, he's a, a cool dude. dude and also like because she has seen him grow up so it could also be because like dekh dekh ke pyar ho gaya ha so but i really liked like the kind of efforts she was taking in that relationship like even though it was not a relationship then have but you been in like have you not had friends like that where it's not always equal oh, yeah, and that yeah. the person is literally in awe of you Mm-hmm. while they are friends but they'll do far more for you mm-hmm. than you might even remember yeah. to yeah. it's yeah. a it's a very genuine relationship <laughs> yes. isn't it firstly i don't think any two uh, friends are equal right yeah. there is always an element where uh, it's uh, there's a follower leader relationship going yeah. on right yeah. so yeah. i think it it shows that really well actually yeah. i was going to say there are friends like that but now when i think back to it i just feel guilty that i should have done more for them oh also. wow <laughs> This is like unlocking know. different See. memories. <laughs> See what um, all Joe Jita why second second do. Okay. Like you're your just head. trying to sell the movie so much. We also like the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you're better human beings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um yeah. do you think the climatic climactic uh, set piece the the bicycle race has that aged well? I mean it continues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean if you were to do so they shot that in Bombay mm-hmm. uh, purely because you can't get that racing track. uh in kodi or whatever yeah, else yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um i think if they were going to if you we were going to cycle because it's cycling na mm-hmm. uh, what could, what could have changed about cycling mm-hmm. <laughs> right <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not like a nascar race yeah, or exactly. a f1 race yeah. Yeah. yeah um so i think i think it's the same uh the usual tropes also mm-hmm. i think even now when you see a cycling race or you see that even in car mm-hmm. races mm-hmm. is that at the end somebody is like moved one gear are pehle kar deta na what were you waiting yeah, 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 for yeah. that you so they they move the gear yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a very movie thing i know yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah, something yeah. Like happen in, in yeah. wrestling they use the their their, their move till the end i'm like yeah. why did you use it right at <laughs> yeah. the beginning to to take out your opponent yeah, yeah. so i mean uh, so that also exists yeah. um i'm i can't see how it would be any different right. mm. honestly But also, like, what I loved, okay, this thing I noticed this time uh, when I was watching it is the the movie starts with saying that this is Dehradun, mm. okay? Mm. Yeah. Where is happening? <laughs> yeah. It's called Kodai Kanal Stadium. Yes. Yeah. Then they're gonna go through ba- Baramula. Yes. Yeah. Baramula is in Kashmir. Yeah. Okay. And then they meet at Sydney Sydney Point. Yeah. Sydney Point is in Panjgani. <laughs> so like they have no clue where they set it. It's like a See? amorphous hill station. Yeah. Of, combined yeah, with all com- hill stations. Yeah, com- If you think stations. about it, this is a movie about travel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this was Zindagi Na Milegi Dubai. but before it was in the in yeah, version yeah yes they see um. Yeah. A uh, cool. Uh, so Mayank, at the end of uh, the movie, we do a rewatchability scale of one to ten. I think you've pretty much given your verdict yeah. when you said you yeah. find something new every time yeah. you watch it. So I'm definitely it's a definite ten yeah. for you. Yeah. But the scale is one is it was a product of its time and nothing from there has aged well. And ten was a scale is literally you find something new every time you watch it, which is what you said earlier in the in the in the episode. So on a scale of one to ten. Yeah, it's a pure ten, and I think there are about maybe twenty films like that mm. that I can watch again and again, mm. uh, and it should not be more than twenty anyway because the you know you have a yeah, short yeah, life, of course, and yeah. there's so much material out there. Yeah. So go consume those. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but I guess it also comes from a time when we had very little access to content in general. Mm. Right. So. you'd rather watch this because you're going to love it right. and if you have you know we used to watch the same video again and again Correct. we used to yeah, own yeah, videos yeah, yeah. why would you own video but <laughs> yes. we used to when like gandhi i can watch again and again mm. um, i was about to say i mean this is not a film that an international audience would know about it's not a pather panchali or something like that it's a very indian hindi film that we know about yeah um, what might be interesting but i feel that about so much stuff that i've loved mm-hmm. is if it's 
uh, globally relevant mm. if it has any connect with people who are not indians mm. right uh, i feel the same thing about satya i feel the same thing about jani badiyaro mm. like i wonder if somebody is an american who just like you know lands um, yeah. up with a uh, jani badiyaro what would he think <laughs> uh, would they get it yeah. uh, and that's probably why maybe those films haven't traveled yeah, uh, as yeah, much yeah. or maybe they will maybe they will get discovered mm. uh, so i think there's something very unique uh, very uniquely uh, they see about this yeah, film yeah, yeah. all the relationships son mm. father mm. brothers um, everything right mm. so i think it's a i i would be interested to know how yeah. someone from another culture yeah. completely another yeah. culture yeah. like a scandinavian yeah. person watching this movie mm. what would they think of it yeah. 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 they love the bollywood stuff but that's right. different yeah. same yeah. they love the songs yeah, yeah. Mm. songs to hai acha to wo to you can't uh, escape yeah you think there's going to be an outburst of white people watching indian films now after trip rrr Yeah, I mean, for all the wrong reasons, na. Huh? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, Natu Natu is not even like a, a great Good song. song. Yes, uh, but it's but again, it was an Oscar, yeah. mm. and Oscar is not for a great song. That's Grammy. Yeah. Mm. So it is about using a song inside in film. a film, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. they would have found to be unique. Yeah. I genuinely believe uh, mm. the way the Koreans have had their run, mm. the Iranians have had their run. Mm. Stuff that is completely us mm. will will be discovered in ways because. simple yeah. netflix yeah. Yeah. you know something as simple as that yes. that's what happened with rrr right. um and i think uh, jjws should move from z5 to <laughs> netflix, netflix. Yeah. and then <laughs> and then we'll plug this uh, podcast, podcast episode yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. in the us somewhere uh, urjita for you on a scale of 1 to 10 uh 8 8 okay yeah. that's good uh for me it would be a uh, 7 I would a solid say. seven. Yeah, a solid yes. seven. <laughs> uh, okay, before we wrap up and do the alternate ending uh, segment, uh, Mayank, because you are a film critic and you're very much working as one right now, uh, I just wanted to get your overall view. There is this uh, thing going on right now. Where everybody is ringing a death knell for uh, Bollywood. They're saying, "Oh, it's over," and there'll be just one Pathan occasionally. Mm. And since the pandemic, everything is gone. What has been your like uh, overview in the last two three years that you've been watching? in hindi films particularly uh is this a phase or some has something tectonically changed in the last uh, i think what years? you mean by that is mm-hmm. uh, theatrical entertainment yes, right yes. uh and i have been watching first day first show for ever in my life right mm. uh and that's one of the reason i became a movie critic because mm. i was a first day first show guy anyway mm. right mm. uh there's never been a crowd in first day first show anywhere they'll only be for those uh, marquee releases mm. and they're usually two in a month mm. right um so plus i think what's happened is that indian audiences have figured that they don't necessarily need to just watch hindi movies right mm. they can watch a telugu film right. and pay for it and watch mm-hmm. it in theater yeah. uh how does it matter to us whether there's movies made in mumbai or made in chennai or hyderabad or, mm. or bangalore mm. so so there's there is that True. and i'm and i'm glad that's the case but i think there was something going on 2019 right before pandemic where we had this whole like section of films mm. that were what you would call middle of the road right. with an ayushman khurana or a rajkumar rao yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. as the leads and things like that and they were about you know regular homes regular families regular stories yeah. uh, pushing the envelope you know you know playing on their whole taboo thing uh, of society i have a feeling it's gone to the ott now mm. and you sense that also with the kind of decisions these guys are taking mm. including filmmakers and um, uh, i mean everyone's next release mm. is an ott platform exactly, and these yeah. are some of yeah. india's best filmmakers right. like i'm going to i'm just going to start watching jubilee that's yeah. by vikram adatya modwani who's yeah. a, such a visual yeah. filmmaker yeah. Yeah. he is making something for amazon before yeah. that was for netflix mm. nobody went to watch uh, anurag kashyap's latest film yeah almost nobody which is a knew. good film yeah, almost yeah, it's a great knew. film which nobody also knew. stars pooja bedi's daughter alaya <laughs> and that tells you how old you are right i'm like no dude this is a romantic film and i had a crush on the mother yeah. <laughs> and now i'm watching this like i can't see any romance in this because right. like you know mess with my head yeah. mm. uh, but great point <laughs> but mm. more than that people didn't know exactly right and yeah. i think the fr- it's becomes too fragmented for people to get to know mm. earlier you could have like a ad in a newspaper or on tv mm. and so okay the movie is playing and we'll go mm. watch it mm. so mm. that's that's where we are uh, i'd like to believe it's a phase man because mm. there's something about theatrical entertainment right. even if i'm alone in a theater and watching a film mm. is just is as a as a um, as a cinema going experience it can't be replicated yeah, right. yeah. no matter how many people you have over and how good your uh, uh, s- yeah. you know 
the screen is and your at your home. So this is uh, so this as a point was also uh, brought up in uh, this documentary called The Romantics on mm. Netflix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I watched. It. Of course, yeah. You've, uh-huh. Yeah. So even I watch everything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's good to know. So uh, um, even in that documentary, they had mentioned that uh, during the 80s, 80s was the time in Bollywood when they were just replicating everything that was South was doing, and so it worked for a few years. and after that people just started getting bored with like all the lights and colors and all the dramatic action and then they went bollywood went back to being bollywood so i feel like right now as you said this is just a phase for bollywood and we I mean yeah so that that's was yash also that was yash raj yeah. so they i mean uh, i was watching rocket singh a couple of uh, hmm. weeks ago i'm like a film like rocket singh today would not get a theatrical release it would com- definitely go f- to streaming right? and in, and ranbi kapoor will not do that do film. that film exactly you know? yes uh, and it did not do well in theater yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah, but it was such a great film. It was a very good film. It has you... aged very well, I feel. <laughs> it was wow. coming after uh, Chakde. Uh, yeah, I, I think was it Shimit Amin who, who yeah. wrote the film? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, he was making it. Shimit Amin was the director. Um, uh, he I directed might be getting the film. It wrong. He directed the film. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. it's it's like he's coming after <clears throat> a successful film. <clears throat> has an A-list uh, yeah. uh, star in in the in the lead, and still it didn't work. But. That's the thing. Something like that today would mm. probably be a mini series. It wouldn't even be a film. Yeah. yeah so I mean, yeah. that that doesn't change, right? I'm just saying that right now. I just find that a lot of Bombay's top filmmakers mm. are actually vendors for OTT platforms. Mm. They're just getting money, and it's going to go directly to OTT. There's, I think, that's the ecosystem at the moment, mm. which is not good for Bombay films and theaters. Mm. Right. Uh, but hey, man, how does it matter where the movie is from? Mm. And I like the fact that the India is realizing that. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, um, so Pathan did really well, but there is this notion that in Hollywood, um, what they do is that uh, some a studio like Marvel will take an indie director who has made an impactful film, and they just make them part of a ecosystem where mm. you ca- won't be able to tell one Marvel movie from the other, mm. regardless of who's made it. Uh, you see something like that happening with the big budget films here, like the YRF spy universe. The movies will have a sameness to them, regardless if whether Siddharth Anand is directing it or Anu Kaj is directing it. Uh, there'll be this. this monotony uh, of big budget thing. i hope not so i think hollywood works a little differently in the sense that there are literally five studios right. right and those five men uh, usually men decide what is going to be entertainment hmm. slate for theatricals hmm. for the entire year hmm. whereas there are some 10000 producers in india right right and anyone can just literally make a film and figure out that whole distribution model hmm. and release the movie hmm. right hmm. Uh, so i don't think there's a monopoly what my fear is the same uh with ott platforms okay. there are five people who will decide what i'm going to watch which right. is precisely what's happening anyway yeah. uh, and they'll start using the data and just make the whole scene garbage mm. when it had just picked up yeah. um but yeah i if if you're going to see a particular film do well you will see 10 of those being right. made and that's right. not going to yeah. change yeah yeah okay uh what's the last impactful thing you saw that you would like to uh tell our listeners that you should watch this well um the pure polar opposite of chuti the wizender would be all that breeds that's the film that right. uh, the uh, that got the oscar nomination this year a uh, very very art house yep. beautifully done changes the way we look at documentary films mm. where it's not about information it's not about plot mm. it's just about dreamy moments very tarkovsky mm. very belatar uh, stuff is happening up mm. front these are filmmakers urjita <laughs> <laughs> and they're still around just let you know <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i mean uh, we don't usually attempt uh, that type of filmmaking right. in general yeah. and certainly not in documentaries and like the fact that it's a documentary because then it's also something concrete mm. there's a tendency for these films to become self indulgent yeah. you can i mean i don't know how many people can watch 7 hours of tarkovsky mm. or a beraltar mm. but those movies exist mm. in that mm. length mm. um so in to use that form yeah. and to play with this It was on Hot Star. Yeah, it's not anymore. Yeah, so seek it it's, out. <laughs> it's disappeared. For ten is, days, they had just like for eight days actually. Eight days, yeah, 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 yeah. just for eight Abhi days. अभी succession ढूंढ रहा हूँ यार. मेरे को नहीं देखना uh, pirated. I'll uh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's really. We'll See, there are eight weeks to go. That's true. I'm assuming eight or ten. Yeah. So in that time, I'm sure they'll find one <laughs> platform that will take all the HBO content. Right? Prime I Video so. is planning to take. I that's uh, I don't know whether it's Prime Video is it Sony Live. Um, hmm. So well. Yeah. You can cut this part because it will be irrelevant. Yeah, <laughs> I know, it yeah. could be Ulu <laughs> app too. <laughs> it can be Ulu app too. Where Mamik, yeah. uh, we can yeah, watch yeah. Mamik movie also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mamik, where can uh, people find you? Anything you want to plug before we wrap up? 
Well, you can just find me on, uh, I guess, Twitter, uh, Twitter or Instagram right. or Facebook. It's Mayank W14, right. and that's where I post my writing uh-huh. uh, or anything else. You also do a YouTube show of your own called the uh, about Bombay and movies. Yes, so I do one which is called the Bombay Film Story, which is a podcast for midday. Uh, there's another I do uh, called Sit with Hitlist. Okay, uh, that's a YouTube show mm-hmm. uh, again for midday, and then there is one that I'm wrapping. Right now, which is 25 episodes. Once we're done with it, it'll be up on Audible. Okay. Uh, that's called the Iconic Villains. Okay. That's mm. the that's the one that I met uh, Shekhar Malhotra right. for. Just out of oh, curiosity, what other villains are you? Uh, uh, I mean, touching everyone, upon? everyone, like uh, from the Prem Chopra, uh, Ranjits of the world, mm-hmm. down to Bindu, right. to mm. Tabu. So okay. it's a full spectrum. Right. Uh, yes. and rather interesting. I have, right. I hope. And you are yeah. interviewing the actors. I have interviewed all these actors, okay. which I think should turn into a piece right. uh, like Kulbushan Kharbanda what a guy <laughs> when the last time you saw an interview of Kulbushan Kharbanda there's right. none yeah, 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 he yeah. does not give interviews yeah, yeah, yeah. so we chased him for six months went to Pune um, you know what are you such a sweet man mm-hmm. Amol Palekar as a villain mm. we did that too so quite a few interesting people in it uh, yeah. few we're still chasing a lot of these guys don't want yeah, any yeah, attention. Yeah. Yeah. You know, try getting anything from Danny. He doesn't mm. care. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I really hope we can get Danny at some point. If uh, this, if yeah. <laughs> what are the chances Danny is listening to this? this. But in case you are, uh, I'm still waiting outside Sikkim, <laughs> hoping to meet you. <laughs> He's hanging in Sikkim. Oh, really? He's show. not yeah. uh, near yeah. Amitabh's bungalow anymore? He has a house that uh-huh. uh, is called uh, Dongarila or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where famously Amitabh Bachchan and Danny used to play table tennis every uh, Saturday or Sunday. Something I think like what that. is happening with a lot of these old people I'm interviewing is they all have Amitabh Bachchan stories for some reason. <laughs> and these are stories that Amitabh Bachchan will never talk about. Like, you know, being a good rum drinker and right. party animal. I'm like, boss, what is the point? <laughs> I can't even... The you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, most iconic villain I can think of is uh, Gabbar Singh but of course he's, he's no more he's no I, more, and yeah. then after that Mogambo yeah mm. who's also um, no more who's also no more yeah uh, alright so cool. Sean I had to settle for mm. for Kulbushan yeah. Kulbushan yes mm. uh all right, thank you, man, for taking time out. It was and, amazing uh, doing this. Uh, we have a short audio segment called Alternate Ending, which we'll uh, quickly do with you. Uh, and uh, Urjita, where can one find you? In case someone wants uh, to you guys out. can find me on Instagram at the rate Urjita Vani. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Urjita Vani. And uh, thank you. And my name is Abbas. You can catch me on Twitter at Abbas Momin and Abbas Momin 88 on Instagram. Thank you for watching this one last time. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, press the subscribe button, share this video with someone who you think will enjoy this. Uh, check out the other shows on the IBM Pop feed. That's uh, Just a Filmy Game Show and Pop Rap. And we will see you next week with a new guest and a new movie. And the audio listeners can stick around for the alternate ending segment. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>